Angela was a devoted mother who cherished her son and was ready to do everything within her power to ensure his success and happiness. Unfortunately, he suddenly died one day, and at his funeral, Angela angrily opened her son's coffin. What happened next made everyone scream. Angela raised her son Richard in a small town. They didn't have much, but they were happy and content. Angela worked very hard to give her son a good education and to provide him with everything he needed. She made sure to spend quality time with him and taught him all about the importance of family, diligence, and kindness. Angela was also quite protective of her son and hardly let him out of her sight. She loved him very much and he was all she had. When Angela was younger, she fell in love with Zachary, a handsome young man whom she had grown up with. Before him, she wasn't interested in anyone nor had she dated anyone. She found it hard to trust people, but Zachary made it easy for her to open up her heart to him. They had a whirlwind romance and Angela got pregnant a few months into the relationship. She told Zachary about it, expecting him to be supportive, but his reaction shocked her. He threatened her to choose between him and that thing she was carrying in her belly. In response, Angela reminded him of all the promises he made to her, how he would love her till the end of time and how he wanted her to have his child. Before she could even finish her sentence, Zachary cut her off and thrust some money into her hands. Get rid of that thing. I'm not ready to be a father, he said before walking out the door and eventually out of her life, leaving her alone to deal with the shame associated with being pregnant outside of marriage. A few people took pity on Angela, while others talked behind her back and thought her life was ruined. After all, she was just 19 and had no parents or relatives that they knew of. So how would she raise the child alone? During the pregnancy, Angela wondered if she had made the right choice by keeping the baby. She was a young girl with limited prospects for a promising future, and here she was about to have a child. Perhaps it would have been much easier to do what Zachary wanted, she wondered. Well, as much as that seemed to be the easy way out, Angela never really found the strength to do so. Ready to do all it takes to be a mother, Angela took on different menial jobs and began saving for the future. While working at a convenience store, Angela met Linda, a wealthy woman who owned a non-profit organization that supported teenage mothers. With Linda's guidance and support, Angela was able to gain financial stability. In due time, she delivered a handsome baby boy whom she named Richard. When she held the boy in her arms for the first time, tears of joy streamed down her face. My dear son, I promise to never leave your side. I will always be here to guide you and protect you, she said before kissing his forehead. For many years, Angela kept the promise she made to Richard. They were together every single day and only spent a few hours away from each other, usually when Richard was in school or Angela was working. As a teen, Richard participated actively in sports and was the captain of his football team. He also excelled in his studies, often getting straight A's. Aside from that, he was quite handsome, so the girls would often throw themselves at him. Thanks to his mother's advice, he knew how to keep them at arm's length and avoid trouble. After graduating high school, Richard was awarded a scholarship to attend an Ivy League college, thousands of miles away from the small town he grew up in with his mother. Angela felt bittersweet as she said her goodbyes. While it saddened her that her son would be so far away, she knew this was an incredible opportunity for him to pursue his dreams, so she wished him all the luck in the world. At college, Richard majored in computer science and graduated with honors. Soon after, he was recruited by a renowned software company where he met Barbara, a customer service representative. They became friends and eventually developed romantic feelings for one another. And before too long, they began dating. Barbara, similar to Richard, was an ambitious individual who wanted more out of life. Although she wasn't as advanced in her field as Richard, she had a knack for business development and marketing. So she suggested that they start their own business, and Richard agreed. They conducted some market research, which revealed the potential profitability of a betting app, so they decided to venture into it. They launched their product, and it proved immensely successful, far exceeding any expectations they may have had. They were able to hire additional staff, 
purchase a building and grow the business exponentially. Richard's success with the betting company came at a cost. He found himself too busy to visit his mother as often, and he was always exhausted, feeling burned out and having trouble sleeping. Richard longed to have his mother close by, so he asked her if she could move to the city and live with him. However, Angela turned down his offer, saying she preferred staying in the small town as it was the only place that could feel like home to her. Though Richard understood this decision, it didn't make missing his mom any easier, nor did it ease the pain of being away from him for Angela. One day, Richard decided to surprise his mother by making a six-hour drive out to see her. His visit was met with so much joy from Angela as they spent time together catching up on their lives since last seeing each other. However, when Richard shared that he wanted to propose to Barbara, Angela's countenance immediately changed, something which didn't go unnoticed by her son. When Richard asked what the problem was, Angela said, Judging from all you have told me about this Barbara girl, I don't think she's good for you. She cares more about your money and the company than she does about you. You need to run from her. She's dangerous. For the first time in his life, Richard argued with his mother and defended Barbara. He claimed she wasn't a bad person and that once Angela got to know her better, she would change her mind about her. Angela strongly disagreed, but blinded by his love for Barbara, Richard couldn't make sense of his mother's words, so he left in anger. A short month later, he married Barbara in a civil ceremony. He knew his mother wouldn't approve, so he didn't invite her. He brushed off her warnings as a display of overprotectiveness. If only he had listened to his mother. A couple months later, Angela was completely taken aback when she heard the news that Richard had passed away and that Barbara had already set a funeral date. She learned that after Richard returned from a short business trip, he got home very exhausted and fell asleep but never woke up again. Angela's heart was heavy with grief as the hours leading up to her son's funeral passed in a blur. She hurriedly got dressed and rushed down to the city where his funeral was being held. She desperately sought answers as to why her son had suddenly died and why a funeral would be arranged in her absence. Thankfully, Angela arrived just as Richard was about to be lowered into the grave. When she asked Barbara if she could see her son one last time, Barbara refused and instructed the pallbearers not to open the coffin. Desperate and furious, Angela forced her way through the pallbearers who tried to stop her. Then she made her way to the coffin and hastily pushed open the lid. What happened next made everyone scream. Angela noticed that her son's chest rose and fell with each breath he took. He wasn't pale like a dead person. He looked alive. Convinced that her son was alive, Angela raised the alarm. My son is alive! He's not dead! She screamed. Then she pointed an accusing finger at Barbara. I know you're responsible for this. What have you done to my son? People were stunned by the unexpected sight before them. Rushing towards the coffin, they discovered that Richard was indeed breathing and alive. An ambulance was called immediately to take him to the hospital for further examination. One of Richard's friends, who happened to be a police officer, was present and he immediately took Barbara into custody. Desperate for leniency in her sentence, Barbara confessed that she had given Richard an overdose of sleeping pills so that she could bury him before the effects wore off. When Richard woke up and learned all that happened, he regretted not listening to his mother. However, he was glad that she had saved him, giving him a second chance at life. As it turned out, Barbara had attempted to get rid of Richard so she could gain full control of Richard's assets and the company. As punishment for her crime, she was ordered by the court to give up all rights to the company and was sentenced to prison. Some years later, Richard met Clara, an honest and kind woman who sincerely loved him. After a few months of dating, they got married, had two children, and lived happily ever after. What do you think about this story? Thank you for watching and see you next time.